brilliant and talented people from all walks of life are entering the auditorium. Let's go to our roving reporter, Wally Walter, who's just standing outside the doors. Thank you, Angelica. It's fantastic to be part of such an evening. Wait, here comes a break. I think, uh, yes. Excuse me, ma'am? Yes? Who are you? I'm Martha Graham. The Martha Graham? Fantastic. This is Martha Graham, ladies and gentlemen, the famous, er, uh, and Jan's the Graham Cracker. I just love Graham Crackers. <laughs> Here's something I'm all dying to know. Yes? How do you get all those little preparations from the crackers? <laughs> Wally, you idiot. I mean, what a kidder. Everyone knows Martha Graham, the great dancing choreographer. Wait a minute, here come a couple guys that must be brothers. Just look at them. I mean, you can run into the cameras on. No, those are fictional characters from a Russian novel. Wait, don't tell me. Little brothers? I knew it. Ladies and gentlemen, these guys discover cough drops. No, you got the wrong brothers. Okay, I give up. Who are you? We're the right brothers. Well, of course you're the right brothers if you're not the wrong brothers. But really, what's your name? Really, we're the right brothers. Don't play games with me. I've got infected hanging on my shoes cut and by this morning. I'm not feeling well. But it's true. We are the right brothers. Pretty much started the whole environmental movement. 
Thank you, Walt. And who'd have thought that, that, that at the same time I was fired, you come up and I'm trying to keep the United States in favor of life. You'll be changing the world with an enemy of the rodent? Like the mystery, and Rachel, but enough about us. We got an important, important award right now. There's so many inspiring humanitarian leaders of 20th century America. A panel of judges had a very difficult time protecting just one winner, but they did. And let's find out who it is. For his work in civil rights, creating the nonviolent rights to equality for black Americans, Dr. Martin Luther King. I am honored, but I cannot accept this award alone. I want to acknowledge the bravery of one woman. On December 5th, 1955, Rosa Parks was riding in a bus in Montgomery, Alabama. She was sitting in the pit row in what was called the color section. Blacks are not allowed in front, and we were required by law to get them back if you any white person who wanted it. But on that day, Rosa did not Rosa did not give up her seat. Rosa did not move to the back of the bus. Rosa did not accept second class citizenship. And by that one simple and rare gesture, the civil rights movement was galvanized. Thank you, Rosa Parks. <laughs> Thank you.